what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The Adderley Junior League softball team got some bad news when they were removed from the championship game on Saturday after league officials found out that they had posted an inappropriate photo on social media. The photo shows several members of the team throwing up the middle finger. Why would anybody do that, one might ask? Well, turns out that they were mistreated or they claim to have been mistreated by the host team Kirkland American during their visit. So after they beat them, they thought that they would stick it to them by throwing up the middle finger. Now, this team is an all girls team ages 12 to 14. The coach on this team after they were disqualified he admitted that, yeah, the photo was inappropriate, but you shouldn't have disqualified. Off the rip, let me give the Little League officials straight up credit, bam, salute. You see, this is what it's going to take to get our communities back, to reclaim these communities, to get these kids to act civilized. Now, of course, a lot of our kids, they do get it. They do act civilized. They are respectful. But many more of them have lost their way. And I submit to you that it is the enabling from adults that allows this type of attitude to flourish. It's an old saying, you want to see where a kid gets their behavior from, go knock on that door. Go to their home and knock on the door and see who answers. That'll tell you everything you need to know. Those kids throwing up the middle finger while they're competing for a World Series championship lets you know that they have bad leadership. And I bet you anything that the coach knew about that photo before it was exposed to the league officials. And that shows you how slow in the head that coach really is. It is due time for adults to stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of kids, but more importantly, stop being afraid of what other adults are going to do when you admonish kids when you check kids, because there is a natural order for life. In everything in life, there is a natural order. I told my son once when he was acting, sadiddy. Well, I don't know if sadiddy is the right word, but my stepdaddy used to say, smelling your piss, got beside himself. So I had to holler at him one day. And I basically told him, look, man, we have a relationship. I'm the father, you're the son. If I start acting like the son, it's not going to work. If you start trying to act like the father, it's not going to work. Everybody have to play their roles in society and play it honorably. Play by the rules in order to have a productive society. When you don't have people playing their role correctly, you have chaos. If I'm on a basketball team, well, you know, I'm not going to even use basketball. We're in the football season, so I'm going to say football team. If I'm on the football team and my role is to run the ball, and I don't want to run the ball. If they pass me the ball and I drop the ball because I want to block the ball on the ground now. Or let's say I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a blocker and this other guy's a running back. He got the ball. 
I want to snatch the ball out of his hand and take it and run with the ball. See, it's not going to work. Everybody have to play their role. If I'm a player and I, I'm on the team and I'm trying to coach the team and play, it's not going to work. Everybody have a role in order for things to work cohesively. As a member of the Ghetto Boys, my role was to, to be a rapper. Not just to be a rapper, but I had a lane that I had to get in. This is early on. My lane was, okay, I'm going to be the loud, abrasive, kick-ass dude in the group. So everything that I do is going to reflect that type of attitude. Brad Scarface's role was to be the smooth dude in the group. So everything that he did had to be smooth. On down from his, his, the way he talked to the cane that he walked around with. Bushwick's job was to be the comic relief in the group. At the same time, be one badass midget that you really don't want to mess with. That was his role. And if you notice, we all stayed in those lanes and that's what made the group so dynamic. It was that chemistry. If I had started rapping like Brad, getting in his lane or he tried to get in my lane or I tried to get in Bill lane, you wouldn't have had that unique diversity. It wouldn't have been as good because you would have had a lot of guys trying to rap the same kind of way and it just wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked as well. Kids have a certain role to play in society, and so does adults. Adults are here to maintain order and to teach and to pass down lessons so that the next generation can take those lessons and learn and then do their thing and become better, build on those lessons so that the next generation will be better. If the adults just get to a point to where they say, man, I don't want to teach no more. I don't want, I'm tired of coaching. I, let the kids have, let them do what they want to do. I ain't got time. You're going to have a situation where we are right now. So it's out of control. Just like police corruption, police misconduct, it's out of control. But we can reel it back in. Somebody got to be brave enough to take the hit. Somebody got to say, man, I'm not allowing these people to be corrupt. I'm not allowing this type of misconduct. I'm going to stand up against it. I'll fight the beast. Somebody, some parent got to say, you know what? I don't care how much money you pay to the school. I don't care how much donations you give to the school. Your son, your daughter is disrupting the natural order of business at this school. They can't stay here. They got to go. They got to be suspended. We got to get rid of them. They got to be punished. You have to punish people there has to be consequences for your actions. Otherwise, you have chaos. You have no incentive to do the right thing. If you do the wrong thing and you're not paying any kind of consequences, there's no, there's no incentive to change. There's no incentive to do the right thing. So I salute these officials who stood up and said, that's it. I saw one report. I didn't read it. But I just saw the title and it could be tricking me with the title. I don't know. But I did see a title. One reporter said that they that the league, the little league officials went too far. That's all I read. I didn't re really get into it. I really didn't want to really I really didn't want to read it because I'm like, man, I don't I don't want to hear this foolishness. Anybody defending uh, the decision to, or anybody that's criticizing the, the decision to disqualify those girls, 
There's something wrong with you. These youngsters have to be reeled back in. And just like adults need to know their place and can't cross the line and try to handle kids and do things that kids do, behave like kids, whether it's being, whether it's trying to sleep with children or uh, being on social media like the president and acting petty, playing out your beefs on Twitter, social media for the world to see, trying to, you know, be 40 years old, walking around with your pants hanging off your ass. That's bad even if you're a teenager, but if you're 40 years old, you really look stupid. Just like adults need to know their place, kids need to know their place and they need to get in their place. And I submit to you that the adults need to start acting like adults, stop being cowards, stand up to these youngsters who are out of control. That if you don't, you are going to have a nation of even worse children because those kids that you see right now that you're not intervening, when you see bad acting and you don't intervene, those kids are going to produce what? You can't give what you ain't got. So if these kids ain't got proper manners, they don't understand proper etiquette, conduct, they have no respect for authority, they have no respect for their fellow citizens, they have no respect they have no self-respect. Man, what you think they're going to give to their children? Because they get horny and they have, they're going to have sex just like everybody else. And what kind of kids do you think they're going to produce? You have no choice but to step in. You have no choice but to intervene. You have no choice but to make the youngsters swallow that hard pill. You have no choice. You have no choice but to teach, to learn. And, you, and I do mean learn, because <laughs> some of us don't know what to do. So we got to learn what to do. Hey, man, the Internet is your best friend. Google. Whatever issue you got, man, just Google and, and, and cross-reference, and you'll figure it out. Talk to people. You'll figure it out. But I salute those uh, officials with the Little League and... It's, 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 a, it's a sad thing that happened to those kids. It's a sad thing that happened. It, it's, it's bad that they actually didn't lose. They didn't get eliminated because of their play. They got eliminated because of their ignorance. They got eliminated because of their behavior, their bad behavior. They didn't get eliminated for bad play. They got eliminated for bad behavior. I wonder if the girls will receive a participation trophy. You know, that's the era we're living in. Everybody get a trophy? Here, you get a trophy. You get a trophy. Win or lose, you get a trophy. You get a trophy. You get a trophy. And some of the parents are in an uproar. Mad at the league. Mad at everybody except the girls. So what does that do? That make the girls think that they were wrong, like they were actually right. And the league somehow wronged them, blaming everybody but themselves. Again, the era of trying to avoid self-accountability. People are saying they got messed over, they screwed them. Let me tell you something. If you're old enough to throw up a fuck you sign, you're old enough to get fucked. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.